Maximals, Maxwell Pomania, welcome back to Transformers the movie the game. Last part we found the glasses. In this part we're gonna continue on Starscream's exercise regime because he's a big boy. Big boy screamer. I mean, look, the thing is his body isn't so much, it's the fact his arms. It's like he just looks so big. Feels like he's like got a big body. Yeah, what difference does it make if I fucking help them? Again, so I've wiped their fucking smirk off their faces. There we go. I've put some ass. I brawl looks alright. It's a shame I get to play as them in the other games. But, you know, never know, maybe one day something will happen. There we go. Starscream's getting thinner by the chapter. By the end of the game, he'll probably be back to his normal self. At least we hope so. Ah, I just love a smoking ruin. Especially one I created. Decepticons, this is Starscream. Make for the rendezvous point. The Allspark will soon be ours. <laughs> Starscream, my scans aren't registering any traces of the Allspark or Megatron. Their signatures must be concealed by the structure somehow. Then we'll have to tear it down piece by piece until we find them. It will be done. Yep, pretty much. That's essentially what happens. Not in the film with the drones, but essentially they attack the building and then eventually he he, he falls out and kills everyone in there and gets out. Lord Megatron. Lord Megatron. Rise Decepticons. We have much to do. I'm not gonna lie, like when I first heard that voice I was like, what? This isn't the movie Megatron. Then I realised that's the original voice, or at least I hope it is. It's a very good impression, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah. Starscream seems to have lost a decent bit of weight, now we're back as Barricade. But if Starscream gets any fatter, that's not my fault, we've helped him. So, we've done our bit for him. Lord Megatron, I have infiltrated the city. The human appears to have fled to this location with the Allspark. Excellent! 
you understand what is at stake should you fail? Completely, my lord. It will be done. <laughs> I feel like the games are more uh, just as fun. Like I said, the storyline is simple. But... For me, I feel like the story is just as um, you know, it's still just as well as you know the movies as well. Like a bit more simpler, but I don't see a problem. Oh come on! I was literally no. So I'm just going to get these points, because why not? What? Let's try again. Get to the beacon and retrieve the old spark! Ah, right. There's a little barrier. Onwards, I say, I guess. There we go. Sam, Kayla, this is where you get out. Step aside, Autobot. The all spot belongs to Megatron. I will exterminate the humans and claim it now. You want them? You go through me. Rip him to pieces. Claim the all spark for your Lord Megatron! Alright, just see. Go on, take some damage. After that Autobot, smash him into scrap! This has become like a big chase scene now. It's like, duh, 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 duh. come on, oh, shit. Crush that Autobot! I want his main frame in shreds. That was technically your job in the film, but okay, fair enough. Get up. Really? That was it? That was fucking easy. This guy was asked what? This isn't over, Marigate. This, no. 
But you, you're done. Optimus, I tried. The Allspark is emitting massive waves of energy. Get to the beacon and the source of these waves. Matt, why do you destroy... This shit destroys humans, so it makes sense. Scorpnock wasn't in the city in the final battle, like he just gone, people thought he was dead and then he showed up in the sand again. He's probably waiting there the whole time, just in the second film. You want it? Take it. Get the hell out of here. Protect the old spot. We're counting on you. Hey, go on, take it. It's, well, it's like, I was like, don't you fucking dare, you little shit, give him that. Scorpnock has reached the old spot. Yeah. I thought I would have just like said, you worthless piece of scrum. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's gonna be a fight now. Ironhide's face changes. Alright, Ironhide's a pain, so let's see how we can. Spark is mine, Ironhide. I remember as a kid, this one I struggled with. Come on. 
said this could be the last part as well. Like I said, the way this is going, if it keeps going this fast, I think we'll get this game done today. It's a shame, but it's like it's not a huge game compared to like the other future games. Waste to this insignificant world. Yeah, he's charging. That's fine. Oh, no, I have to be stubborn. Flowers for you too, if you pack it in. I hate these enemies so much. I really hate those ones specifically. I just, I despise those ones in particular. Of any enemy, it's like this fact that why can't I just grab his fucking pool line? And just, you know, I don't know, whoever. Move you bastards! Where's the other on the bottom? He's there. The old spark is mine, Ironhide. Long boss fight, I'll give it that. one of them, they're all together, that's the problem. And it doesn't matter, every time I do something, there's always like a big explosion of some kind. That probably wasn't causing the problem. Die already, stupid buddy. There we go. 
find out like, where's Ratchet amongst all these guys because Ratchet is a part of the main cast and yet he's not in the game which is a bit shitty on their part to be honest. Stay away. See, my dog's trying to get up now. I don't like this. Why are you trying to get up? I'm busy. Come on then. Hurry up. There you go. You stay there. Because any more interruption from you causes problems, don't it? We know what you're like. And that's what worries me of you. Grab this. Keep losing health after every while, it's bloody annoying. Why does Ironhide have so many of these little shits going around? The brawny types. Can these bugger off? Fuck off! That's the thing, the problem is, Ironhide's in such a stupid place, right where they are. Grab him and chuck him. Hang on, let me see if I can chuck him up a bit. Damn it! There we go. There's problems with the shit. Oh, there we go. Just one hit and, it's, and they go down like instantly. Oh, me, you're still alive. That's fine by me. Why am I... What is him? It's those fuckers up there. I know it's them. It has to be them at this point. Oh, whacking stick ready for you. You know I hate it as I chuck down it's like, nope. Count, I guess it's just a smaller being than no Come on Iron Hide, let's finish you up. Perhaps you shoot them on purpose, you know I'm going to chuck them, it's like the game knows, always just one sound. 
There we go. And so, Einheit's got his ass whooped. Einheit and Jazz and Bumblebee, I think, are dead now. I don't think Bumblebee is, I think there's still Bumblebee, and I think then it'll be like Prime or something. I know there's no Ratchet, and that's what I don't understand is that there's no Ratchet things on. And I, they seem to have all these models for the characters, and yet they Optimus? don't. Yeah. You know. Bumblebee, I mean, they're all gone. Their sacrifice was in service to protecting the Allspark, and it will not be in vain. Come. The final battle. Yeah, I think this will be the finale thing. I think I've got one more mission, that's it. Come out, Prime! If you hand over the Allspark, I might spare these creatures! Oh yeah, that's a walk on one. Where are the Autobots to protect you now, flesh bags? Come on. I mean, it just drop, but you know, I don't care, it's fine. Ah, oh, but like I said, it is cool, like it is sad, like, you know, because it's a bad ending, it's a, it's a pop over winning. Not this is now on his own. I actually think they should do a film based on that, like, what would happen, like a what if sort of thing. I think they should have done something like that. Based on what the comics did. I think that would have been quite cool actually, just to see if Dark Transformers film. But yeah, you know, the, the guys who went for like I said, it's ap apocalyptic and shit. Voice again, all dry and old. It's just like I need to cough and like. Yeah, this one is 
often we don't fight Ratchet, it's all gone. It's like, where the fuck is Ratchet? You know, Ratchet was part of your team. Not, I, they must have not had time to do this. They definitely must have not had time to get this game has been this rushed or something. I think that might have also, that could be why like there's only like a few things in it, like not much levels, etc. and like more stuff because like you know, like I said there's not really such a campaign is I think the person a bit shorter but I think I don't know. I really like the fact that we get like two new areas. And the Decepticons get two new areas. And you're like, no, and they all get like. Yeah, you know, different areas. It's just fair enough, that's fine. Where is he? There he is. Ah, oh, it's one of those. Hey, Megatron is strong enough to grab these things. You know what I mean? Like, he should be technically now strong enough to grab whatever that is. You know what I mean? Like, he should be strong enough to grab them. So much fighting. This must be like to come. I think this fight is just to compensate the um, boss fight, potentially. Which is fine, I mean, I get that, because probably tend to keep dying the real which then they will place all around them, so it kind of made it look like we can put the swag and transfer to something else.
It's destruction galore at this point. It's honestly just destruction galore. those come on do I need to destroy here? The glory of destroying the traitor prime will be mine! Oh, hey, is that it's not letting me get up there and it's annoying because I want to get up there. I'm actually worried now because if I have to do this bit again I'm not going to be happy. Come on, let me up. Let me up. Come on, ten seconds. This is what I mean. The time limit should not be exist. The time limit, I repeat, should not exist. Time limit 
should not exist. The time limit should not exist. This is bullshit. I have to do the whole thing again. The whole fight fest. Just to essentially climb up that piece of shit. I'm sorry, I do not care. There's a way of padding out gameplay and that's just a pure example of them just being dicks. I'm gonna cut till we get to that point. I'm not doing, I'm not recording that shit. BRB. Alright, Maxwell's on back. Finally after doing that bullshit, so let's see if I can climb up. Um, do I can. Um, fingers crossed this could be, I'm hoping it works, if it doesn't then there might be something I'm doing wrong, which doesn't surprise me. I don't understand why it doesn't let you just fly up there, and I hate the fact, I do hate that to do super missions guys, and I'm sorry for getting annoyed at it, it just, it pisses me off with that sort of thing, because there's a way to expand your game time, and then there's just shit like that, it doesn't really tell you what to do, and like I said, you've got like 40 seconds, before you realise that you've run out of time, and it's like, yeah exactly, you have to get to the very top, and it's like, why, why can't I just flew up there, make a truck and fly, you can go to space, you know, what, why is it a problem? to wonder if you were ever going to come, brother. Megatron, I have pursued you from one end of the galaxy to the other. The Allspark belongs to me! Let's finish this, brother, once and for all. Once I destroy the humans and acquire the Allspark, you'll witness the true meaning of terror. There we Concerns when it's like this, because you know. Okay.
trying to keep damaging it okay, neat. By this, maybe it's worth. Forever to kill. I need health, I just need health like badly. Normally I would have been like, oh fair enough, but the fact that I really did need health. Now if I could just grab the health from this corner as well. Now, I've got a way to hurt you, I've just got to get past and do whatever. Off. I might mess it up, I think I might have, but we'll see. Let's grab another. Nope, that's not going to work. <sighs> I've got to grab something smaller, so I've got to grab something like this. Nope, not like that. No, 
like this, there we go. Fuck off. Fucking hit detection bullshit. You can grab shit and chuck. Fucking piece of shit. If you start this mission I might have to do. On me, I'm trying. That's right, I'm trying to grab something on the floor. Not specifically a um hold. Because I think that's the only thing that so it has to be something small to do this, it has to be something small. So it's not gonna work. Yada yada yada. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Right, I can farm for health if I need to, but this is not where I need to be. I'm trying to get up to a specific point, I've got to try and fly who is up here. So I've got to try and aim for somewhere around... If I can chuck this right, I can maybe... Nah, I've got to restart. Uh, no, I've got to... No, I have to do something. This is annoying. This is bad. I think I might have glitched it, which is just... Fantastic game design. I mean, you can tell it's rushed, because it's shit like that. They, you know... Why let us chuck, you know... This is why they need to make buildings actually can crumble on themselves. Come on, there has to be a way for me to restart this. I swear there used to be a restart option, I swear there was. Because I just need a way to get up on the top floor and just smack. Why is this heavy? It's just a piece of paper. I could hold this. It's like a little sword. I could hold something way heavier and jump. So why can't I jump with this? It won't let me because the game's just like, no, I'm sorry, you've got to do it our way. And it's like, yeah, well, your way's got me stuck, so how about then let me up there? This is definitely Doomsday, right? Doomsday, my ass. Hang on, there might be a way. Hang on, we'll figure this out. Hang on. I just go the further I go back and do it, maybe I aim high enough. Nope. Sorry, time and a place. I am not I'm gonna have to do the beginning bit again, but that's fine. I'm not doing this constantly, I'm sorry I'm not. Fucking waste of time that. So that means I can't chuck them in the air, I can't chuck them up. Because if I do, you know, it's just gonna go wrong. <sighs> it just pisses me off it's like Christ. <sighs> God damn it. Megatron, I really done this, so well, let's fight, I'm gonna get this done. Destroy the humans and acquire the all spark. You'll witness the true meaning of terror.
Okay, got all the um, ones done, awesome. Cybertron, and you shall not stop me here! Right, yeah. Yeah, like I just don't care. Optimus, the Optimus is like in a way, I just noticed that like, he's doing exactly what Starscream should be doing right now, just, you know. That's yeah, so all he's doing is just really running around in circles. Fuck off! There we go. One more, so I need some more, let me pick him up. I'm not the same mistake. That's a bit cheap, it just blurs slightly, isn't it, there? I don't like the time limit, I feel like it's very unfair, again, for a kid he might struggle, and I know for me it's fine, but like I said, for a young kid, I just feel like, you know, it's a bit, they're very strict to that sort of shit, and I know they're thinking I'll be a adult and stuff like or someone older than little kids, but... Pathetic love for this planet will be your undoing time! These fuckers too, no. But I really hate the physics, like a little explosion says the Megatron like flying and it's like just fuck off. Like, a little fucking ponytail whip and boom. Like in the game, actually, be a bit more like sit realistic on Megatron, like I said, and say what's just prime another character. It's like the bigger guy should be tougher in general, not bloody. I need to fucking move in a minute. I'm just getting flung back constantly, and I just can't. 
take on these bastards, I can't. Trying to get through here so I can grab some health. Perfect. Now it's got to at you. And then finish you off and then that should be... there we go. Now I can just do this. That's never happened in the films, so we didn't have drones like flying. That's the thing. I know why they do it is because you know, they've got to pad the game out, but I feel like, again, it's a bad way of extending game time in that sense. Be in the middle, just call it a hunch. Actually, no, I'm probably be over here now. I think about it. Probably the last area, I swear. Come on, let me finish him off. Jeez, he keeps running. This is so bad. The filler is just bad. I could have literally done like another part, and I actually feel bad about that, man. You know, I might have to so I might split these up into two parts just because it's like, you know, it's a bit. Not gonna lie, I might do that. Damn, the lo it locks on like so tight, it's annoying. Get rid of one of them and then that's one less to deal with. There we go, should be it now. Come on. Just pick up something, there you go. Pick up this and let's swim away. Now I'm going to guess the middle, just call it a hunch. It's going to be right in the centre. Final battle. Here we go. Yeah, I was right. Got a full fucking circle. Yeah, if it's too long, guys, I'm. You might see like this past like a big hour or so and then fair enough, but if it's not then you'll know it's like I said it's gonna be probably just over and I think it's gonna be over an hour so I think I'm gonna make it like split in two parts. So that's fine.
To be honest, this could be its own little part. I mean, I'm looking at Nan, potentially, I think it could be easily its own part. Quite a dark time in Transformers history in this game, not gonna lie. And a few dark endings. And I think this is what the comics are based off, what happened if Octopus got his ass whooped or things were reversed, I don't know. Finish this planet. We are done here. There you go, that is Transformers. Um, so we've done the whole game now. Um, I'm going to do one more mission to show off. Because it's obviously the Decepticon version of that mission that we did before Cybertron. But I'll explain like my thoughts on the final third of the game. So, should I recommend it if you're a fan of Transformers? Uh, yeah, mostly if you're a part, if you love, if you like the movie, they, if you like the movies, then yeah, go, why not? It's on PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, and I assume other things as well, maybe. Uh, there are those DS ports, and I know the handheld versions can be different as well. So it's quite neat how they do it. Um, but yeah, essentially, like I said, there's a lot in these games and I do think they did try and put some care into it I do think they're a bit rushed there's a few flaws like I said there's how some characters are and how some of the missions are and one of the main things I've noticed for example is like Ratchet there's a lot of characters that have been missed out I think Ratchet it was in a cutscene I can't even remember that's the thing he was barely seen and what bothers me actually no he was in a cutscene I think in Bumblebee's playthrough and that's what bugs me is that you only got to play like four one Bumblebee Jazz Bumblebee, Jazz, Optimus, and Ironhide, that was it. Um, those are the only characters you got to play as, and then Decepticons, you know, saying there was like two other Decepticons. And it's just like. Bone Crusher and Brawl, you know. Like. What happened to them? I mean. You should have. I think there's. I wonder if there was a concept, like, for example, Optimus finding Bone Crusher, would there have been like a fight on a highway somewhere? With, um. You know, would Ratchet have had like a squabble with the other Decepticons, something like that? You know, I mean, I don't know. But, like I said, there's. I feel like there's some on the box that were cut out. I mean, in the movie itself, I know there's like um, on the box that were cut out that were put in the um, second film, which fair enough. I do like both endings. Like I said the all about ending is the real ending, obviously, and this ending, well, technically, Optimus didn't do the, you know, the all by himself. Himself, it was Sam that did it. Um, you know, and like I said, and I believe this would be a cool concept, like a film idea, like if they did a prequel. An alternate worth to the first film. Like they continue off this ending. I think they could have re they could really make it, you know, quite I think it would have been quite a good film. As for the game itself. I don't see a problem with it. I mean, there's flaws. I mean, Travelers Tales, you can tell there's them in a sense. There's some nods to them and how the other. I like it. Um, again, I recommend if you're a Transformers fan. If you don't like the Bay films, uh, maybe that's something you'll like here. Maybe, I don't know. Like, again, Megatron's voice is not, I believe, it's Frank Welker, I think. 
I know I should have really checked that. I just did. I just don't want to risk saying it is and then it isn't. Cause someone could have been in person in by. I think it is. So you got some G1 aspects in it. Plus, there's more character in the um, in this game. There's more characters talking than there was really in the films, like the Decepticon side as well. Um, Starscream talks a bit more. Blackout, the others. You know, they talk about plans. It even shows what they did um, while the other bots were doing their thing. So you know, if you, you could argue, well, the Decepticons campaign up until the city. You know, that's what they were doing, they were, you know, fighting and doing their own thing. And like, another problem was, like I said, with Megatron fighting Jazz, I mean, he beat Jazz up, that should have been... I just think, you know, I mean, I kind of get why they... Maybe they just didn't think about it, and also... Maybe not to give spoilers away as such, like, who kills who. So I think they... Maybe if I don't know when this game came out, I know it came out definitely around the film, but I mean... My fear is it must have came out, like, around when the film was... You know, I'd say probably just after, so maybe like they just like, oh shit, you know, we've got to release it right around the time of the film, so maybe there's not so much they knew, or maybe they didn't want to spoil it for fans. Well, like I said, it's quite neat how this works. Right, these little areas, it's neat, it's cool. Um, I am going to be doing a hard mode for this. I will, not hard mode, I'm going to be doing an extra mode, so basically I'm going to go and collect all collectibles in every area. And, you know, nah, I won't be that long, same with like, the Bionicle stuff. You know, there's only a few of these sort of games I can really do. Which is a shame, but you know. But now, I, I enjoyed it. I found there's some flaws again like I said earlier for example I mean last part for example because this is not going to be a one big part it's not going to be over an hour so you know just that will explain again I'm going to apologise now that's why for example the other part might have ended abruptly like when I did that thing with Megatron because realistically there's not much point you know it's over now and I feel like that could have just been two parts so you know don't get me wrong I like trying to get as much done as possible but I like to keep, kind of try and keep things consistent if I can help it. And if I knew this, if I knew that final fight would take that long, I could have just stopped there. But I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's all the stuff done. You can go back and unlock other things like a G1 color scheme for a star scream and somebody else. I can, I don't know who. And um, if I can have a look, I can probably tell you. Let me have a look. Um, Robo version, vision of just climb off. Robo vision, what? Okay, that's neat. Um, G1 star screen repaint. Um, put those on. I want to have a look at these, but we'll do that in a extra mode um, part, which will probably happen at some point in the future. But until then, yeah. So the next game for the Transformers line will be obviously um, Transformers 2: Revenge of the Fallen. Same on 360. Um, however, if that doesn't happen, the, the only thing that might change with that is that I might not even do that first. Because if my if I can get my PlayStation 2 and stuff like that sorted, it might be something like Beast Wars or Transform Beast Wars the game or Transformers Armada the game. Essentially, there was one of a, a couple of the games out there, but no. no. But my point is, it'd be one of those. It could be any of those. We don't know. Because um, I was planning to do those first, but due to me not getting it done. And I really wanted to do some Transformers, you know, why not? Uh, but yeah, so most likely it'll be the next Transformer game will be Transformers 2 Avengers of Fallen, but I'd say maybe it'll be extra mode, like my hard modes version of Transformers Devastation next, I don't know. Who knows what we got. But guys, I want to say thank you for watching, it's been a good run, of tra another Transformer game under my belt. Enjoy playing these games. I look forward to the second game. I think that was one of my. I think that was one of the better ones, in my opinion. That's definitely better than this one, I think. But for first game, whatever. Anyway, see you all in the next part. Take care. See ya.